This video asks us to evaluate several logarithms. First, let's start with log base 7 of 49. Okay, and when you, when you see something like this, log base 7 of 49, you ask yourself a simple question. You start with the base, and you ask, 7 to what power gives 49? 7 to what power gives 49? And that's always how you do it with these logarithms that are in this form, right? There's, note that there's no x's. It's not an equation. We're just trying to evaluate these logarithmic expressions. So you start with the base, and you say the base to what power gives, and then whatever is inside the logarithm. So we're saying 7 to what power gives 49. Well, clearly 7 squared gives 49. So the answer to this one is 2. All right, so that's the technique. Let's try another one. We have log base 2 of 1 over 32. So we're saying 2 to what power gives 1 over 32? Okay, we're asking 2 to what power gives 1 over 32? Huh, well, now remember, to get this down to the denominator, we need a negative exponent. So it's going to be 2 to the negative something equals 1 over 32. Well, 2 to the what equals 32? Hmm, I think that's 2 to the fifth, right? 2 cubed is 8, 2 to the fourth is 16, 2 to the fifth is 32, so 2 to the negative fifth is 1 over 32. Thus, log base 2 of 1 over 32 is negative 5. All right, let's look at C. Log base 8 of 2. So again, this is asking 8 to what power gives 1 half? 8 to what power, we don't know, gives 1 half? Okay, well, we just have a 1 up here in the numerator. So whatever it is, it's going to have to be negative up here in the exponent. 8 to the negative something gives us 1 half. Well, how about negative 1 third? 1 third does the trick, and here's why. Let's see, let's, let's work this out. 8 to the negative 1 third, right, is 1 over 8 to the 1 third. But that's simply 1 over the cubed root of 8. And the cubed root of 8 is indeed 2, 1 half, and that's what we wanted. So the answer to this one is negative 1 third. But these all can be solved by asking that same question. You look at the base and say, base to what power gives us whatever's inside the log. So let's look at D here. Base to what power, so 2 thirds to what power, 2 thirds to what power, and I'm going to put parentheses around this 2 thirds here because it's, it's the entire fraction there, to what power gives us 4 ninths. Well, there's only one possible answer. 2 thirds squared gives us 4 ninths. So the answer to this one is 2.